Hello, my name's Laura, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a mail merge with Google Sheets. Let's get started. So first, go to the Google Workplace Marketplace to install the MailMeter add-on. Once it's installed, open your Google Sheets to start your mailing list. Each column is going to represent a category such as name, email, and company. Each row is going to include um, your recipient's data. If you've already created your contact list, you can go ahead and import it by clicking onto File here and then Import and select the file you want to import. Here you go. Import data whilst it loads and then Open Now. And here you go. Mailmeteor allows you to customise links. It lets you customise both the text of the hyperlink and the URL it directs to. It's convenient because it's going to send a personalised link to each of your recipients. So to do that, you have to add a column that says link and then use the Excel formula, which is equal hyperlink. So you see it here and you'll go ahead and select both the website that you want to use and the company. All right, now that your list is ready, open Mailmeter by clicking on two extensions, selecting Mailmeter and open Mailmeter. Once it loads, we're going to go ahead and create a new template and this will pop up, which looks exactly like an email. Make sure you start with your subject line. Welcome to Mailmeter, for instance and then enter your body. I've already created mine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste it. I've enter, entered, sorry, X's here, so it gives me um, an idea of where I need to go ahead and insert my variables. To insert a variable, you have to click on insert variable here, click on the arrow, and then the first variable is gonna be the first name uh, for my email, and then my second variable is right here, and I will go ahead and create, um, sorry, select company. You can also insert the hyperlink like we were talking about earlier on, and it will be the same um, way, just insert variable and select where you want to um, enter it. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and save template. Another thing that I've forgotten to talk about is that uh, Mailmeter allows you to attach files. To do that, all you have to do is click on this icon here and you can select PDFs or images. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that it's going to send the same file to everyone. If you want to send a personalised files to each recipient, then I suggest you watch um, our other tutorial on the subject. You'll find the link in the description of this video. So once you've written your email and added your variables, click the Save Template button. Now click on the Preview Emails if you want to review your email. By clicking on the arrows, you can see how each email is going to look like to your receivers. You can even send a test email by clicking on receive a test email to yourself and check that everything is in line. Once you're satisfied with the end result, you could just go ahead and send emails. So you see, within a single click, you've just sent an email to your entire contact list. When your emails have been sent, Mailmeter generates a tracking report with emails opened and click. You can um, access this feature by clicking on two extensions, clicking on Mailmeter and then clicking on tracking report. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to send bulk emails easily with Mailmeter. Bye.